So we're here on the Oregon coast looking for purple varnish clams now. Purple varnish, if you're in the right spot, are probably the easiest clam to get. Um, they're an invasive species right over here in the bilge of a ship, and therefore you can keep 72 of these clams, which is a lot, but they don't grow too big. Now this is a fair, fair size of one, but they do grow about that big, about the size of a, maybe a silver dollar. So they do get quite big. Um, you want to make sure and purge these before you eat them more than anything else. Um, they tend to hold a bit more toxins. And so allowing them to really flush their system for a day in a five gallon bucket full of water is very helpful. Now they don't live too far down. Um, as you can see here, this one as I'm excavating it is about mm, six inches down. So it doesn't have to be that far. Um, oftentimes it's a bycatch species for me where I won't be targeting purple varnish. But as I find a good bed, I think, hey, why the heck not fill my bag up with more meat? That's why I'm actually out here. So what I like to do is just dig in that area until, unfortunately, sometimes you hear the crunch of a purple varnish. In this case, we crushed that purple varnish. So we're gonna put that over here with our pile, and that's gonna be a good indicator that there's gonna be more in that general area. So I usually get you know, multiple people around in this area at this point because we know they're in this spot and just start to pull with your hands and you'll find more. There's a very small one. There's a good purple varnish and they're all gonna be about the same size class in this case. If you want the bigger ones, usually in the areas they're at, you can go down a little bit deeper, but I would just stay in this hole until I move myself so far back that I stopped producing. And in order to widen the hole, what I like to do is, just like that, pop a more purple varnish out. I take my hand, it helps if you have a glove, and you just go about an inch or two inches into the wall, and you just push straight down. Controlling your hand, you don't want to drive it down there and cut yourself on a broken shell or anything like that. And you can just keep widening that hole out. Make sure you're looking in the sand to ensure you don't move past it, but more likely than not, you're going to come across a bunch more purple varnish. As you can see, we're just collecting these. So this is a great thing to do with kids or families. I've taken my family out here to this spot actually, and we've had a lot of fun. Um, you can get a lot of clams in a really short amount of time, and they're actually quite delicious. Uh, they tend to hold a bit more sediment, so once again, ensuring that you allow them to purge will help your cause out a lot. You can eat them like steamers. A lot of people put them in chowder. Um, I tend to steam them, pull them all out of the shell, and then use them in like a seafood pasta or something along those lines. But it really is this simple. You just keep processing along and you'll find more and more as time goes along. Fill my hole back in.